wafting through the breeze like the fragrant aromas from your favorite street food stalls in the night market. It's DIA or Dudes in Asia. What up, dude maniacs? As always, this is David Hader. And this is David Wynn, a.k.a. Hollywood Noogie. For episode 32, we're continuing with our unscripted series. Today, we'll just talk about whatever comes up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got a lot in mind for today. Well, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's like something good to do, you know, every month, you know, just kind of just talk see where things go you know? yeah well it seems like what yeah golden week which means the uh, emperor abdicated right yeah yeah that's right man yeah it's and a then, new era yeah then thailand also anointed their new king even though he had been passed away for like two years right uh, i don't know i don't know man you're telling me about that i heard um, about the, uh, the yeah, new he, king but i didn't yeah, know this, up with the old king man well he passed away like two years ago so like he just he had to wait for the right time and the right place to kind of do it and then it was like this past weekend that he uh, officially got coronated oh nice nice so I was like yeah I guess it's like a a weekend a week of new eras man <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 time's marching on man yep 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 let's do with you bro yeah same old stuff dude like uh I had like no work at all last week so that was fun you know yeah, and then, uh, <laughs> that's yeah, you fun. know, yeah. Recording this on Monday, so today's like a holiday too, you know. So, getting ready to head back to work, you know, finish strong. But that's like the thing with a uh, golden week, right? Is like you get all these days off at the beginning of May, like end of April, and mm-hmm. it's like super nice. But then, like on our schedule, between like now and like summer vacation, like there's like zero holidays, you know. Mm. So it's kind of like crunch time, man. By the time you get in the summer, you're just like, get me out of there. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, so it's like a hardcore stretch of just work, man. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. But this is like the home. Holidays. This is home stretch for you, though. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not just like vacation, you know, and then yeah. back to work. It's like peace out Japan, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it'll it'll be fun, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, you know? Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, I went to the uh, went to Nagoya yesterday. Checked out the uh, Belgian beer festival. Mm. So that was fun, man. A little so pricey, you, but good. And you got crunk, I assume. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> man, I, I keep yeah. hearing Nagoya from you. That's why I accidentally booked that damn flight last time. <laughs> oh, really? It was just like it was. It was in my subconscious brain to go to Nagoya for some goddamn reason. <laughs> yeah. And you're so like, good, you though. guys enjoy Tokyo. I'm going to Nagoya. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> but yeah, man, other than that, I've just been kicking it, dude. Anything nah. new with you, man? Nah, dude. Um, Grace's first birthday is this Saturday, so... Uh, nice. Past weekend, we took her to like a little photo studio, took some pictures and whatnot, but she was like not in the best moods that day. <laughs> uh, okay. She wasn't having it, huh? Yeah. I think she was just like, because she slept really late and we woke up really early to go. So, she just, you know, this little grouchy is all. I mean, by the end of, like, the, the photo shoot, she was kind of picking up her pace, but it was a lot of, like, no smiling photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's funny, dude. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that had, that was the past weekend, prepping for that. And then this weekend, probably had to prep for that as well. But, yeah, that would be cool. You know, she's turning one. That would be awesome. For sure, man. Yeah, I remember you telling me before, right? Like, there's a little bit of debate, right, within the family about what to do for the first birthday? Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be pretty big for Vietnamese standards. It's almost yeah. like, it's like, it feels like almost another version of a, like a wedding type of event. You want to, <laughs> you know, book a, a, like a, a banquet room and have like multiple tables because it's the same thing. People are going to show up and drop money. You know, mm, yeah, but it's yeah. like, I, uh, okay. and because of that, I, I'm actually not inviting any coworkers. Mm-hmm. The only person I was going to invite was like VC. Cause like, if he shows up, it's like, Oh, he's a foreigner. He doesn't know what's going on. Cause mm, yeah. sad to say my in-laws are like very judgmental of people. So if I were to invite people who don't drop money, they kind of just like, what's up with this? How come you're going to be associated with these type of people? It's like, man, I don't want them to pay, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'd rather just not invite anybody. <laughs> yeah, man. How much money like are they expecting yeah, from people, yeah, man? Probably like you know, like the five hundred k million. So it's like what, like twenty five bucks to fifty dollars. Mm, yeah, but, yeah. But, you know, the Vietnamese, you know, salary is not that high. So yeah, man, that's like your food money for a month, man. <laughs> yeah, most likely. 
<laughs> so like, <laughs> yeah, actually, I invited some people this morning, and then I actually disinvited them. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Uh, Fuck, don't show up, dude. I don't. I don't want to deal with that. So, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just man, it's like it's just all this Vietnamese traditional stuff. Like we wanted to just do a family dinner. Nope, can't do that. I'm like Jesus Christ. I mean, you guys do what you guys want to do. You know, simple as that. <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes you get people like that, and like, oh yeah, you know. Uh, so like, this thing's coming up. What do you want to do? And it's like oh, I haven't really thought about it. It's like, oh yeah, do whatever you want. Well, I want to do this. No, that's not good. Yeah. Exactly. And exactly. It's like, well, uh, how about this? No, you can't do that. Yeah. Why don't you do this? Like, I don't really want to do that. It would be nice, though. <laughs> because it's like, where do you want to go? And then my wife picked a place. No, you can't. That, that place is too this. And then, how about this place? No, that place is too that. He keeps, he keeps going. It's like the same suggestion over and over. And it's like, fine. Like, you do it, you know? <laughs> like, what else yeah. do you want, man? <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, yeah. 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 It's true, though, man. Like, some people, like, at that point, it's already been decided, you know? Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of control. Easier to go here. with it. Yeah. One of my favorite ac- acronyms is Bohica. <laughs> that, that, that is, I forgot about that one, but it is one of my favorites too, man. <laughs> That's right. For those of you who don't know, you can look on Google. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, some of that military talk, man. Yeah. So since this is like a, a podcast, and I'll, I for sure know my coworkers don't listen to this, man. It's like it's the era of baby right now. Uh, <laughs> it sure is, man. It's and like so, one of them, it's just like you know he had plans for his future and blah blah blah, and then bam, wife's pregnant, and he is like completely wrecked like mentally. <laughs> wow. Because it's just so like, you it's mean, fucking up my plans. It's just like, yo, like, that's just how life is, yo. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, like, yeah. you got, like, just embrace it. That's all you can do is just embrace it. Don't start getting, like, upset and stressed out about it, you know? Just just take it on. And then another, yeah, yeah. And then another coworker of mine that feels sorry for her is, like, you know, she's pregnant before marriage. So now she's, like, rushing to get married, you know? And that's like the worst circumstance to get married, man. Yeah, you know? I think so, dude. Like a shotgun wedding, you know? Mm-hmm. Pretty much. And like her parents would even like him, you know? So it's like yeah. it's it's like, oh don't just get just have the kid. You don't need to get married, you know? But ooh, I feel sorry for my coworkers, man. <laughs> yeah. Well see man, at first when you're talking about the era of babies, I just thought you meant that people were immature, you know. Yeah, oh, I mean that too. <laughs> that too. Okay, here's a here's a here's a question hater that I kind of ran my mind, but I'm not sure how to answer. Okay. What what makes um how do I phrase this? Um, what's the difference between like a teenager and a man? Uh, okay, you know, to me, I think it's more uh, being responsible. Okay. And like knowing how to prioritize, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, you you think, like, back to your teenage days, like, you probably aren't thinking, like, beyond that night. You know what I mean? Okay. And it's, like, there are things that you should do, but then you don't really want to do them because it's, like, difficult or, like, it's not fun. You know, it's not what you want to do, you right. know? Mm-hmm. And so I think, you know, as you get older, you become a man. Like, you, you do things, like, you know, with the future in mind. Like, you stay true to your word, you know what I mean? Like, if you say you're going to do something, you get it done, you know? And you kind of, like, do stuff, like, you know, that needs to be done. Not because, like, you really enjoy it, you know. It's, it's like, doing things you don't enjoy because they need to happen. You know what I mean? It's like, if you don't do it, then nobody else will kind of deal, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, because it occurred to me while I was, like, driving this morning, like, to me, t- to me, I think Vietnam is, like, nothing but teenagers, Wow. Mentally. Mentally. No matter how old they are, they're all teenagers. Mm, so That's crazy, dude. Because it's just like, that how they answer that question. Well, if I think they're teenagers, then what defines a teenager from a man? Right? Yeah, yeah. So to me, like, the reason why I felt like they're teenagers, it was like, 
they always had something to prove to other people. Mm, yeah. To me, yeah. like a man is just like he's just confident in who he is and does have nothing to prove. It's just like this is who I am. I, I got to prove shit to you, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's why to me, like video people, like the way they drive, the way they do everything, no matter how old they are, they always got that teenage attitude is like fuck you i drive better fuck you i'm this better i was like it's always trying to prove something so that's why to me it's like yeah Vietnam is a bunch of teenagers regardless of age because i still see people who are like 40 years old trying to dress like you know they're still 18 not responsible always got something to prove so that's why it's like it just hit me just like this morning though you know <laughs> yeah it's pretty nuts man like it's just always like comparing themselves to others right constantly constantly right so to me when i was in japan i didn't have that vibe you know maybe they're they're trying to like compare each other in the workplace but it wasn't like it wasn't everywhere you went someone always had that i'm trying to show off i'm trying to show off i'm trying to show off you know yeah well i feel like in japan it's actually kind of like the opposite you know like a lot of people just want to blend in like don't stick out you know exactly so I mean that doesn't really yeah. that really doesn't make you a man either, but it's still not quite as immature as I need to stand out. You know, mm, trying yeah. to stand out is a very teenage attitude. You know, I think so. Well, it's it's like people want to be recognized. You exactly. know what I mean? Exactly. So that's and more teenager-ish like, compared to an adult. Adult like I'm gonna go, fuck. I got I too think many so. problems in this world. Like, I got too many issues with my family. Like I ain't gotta prove nothing. You know, I ain't trying to stand mm. out. You know. So that's why, like, kind of hit me. I was like, "God damn, I miss you here." <laughs> yeah. Well, like, I, I think it was like some uh, Confucius like sayings too. You know, it was like the it was like the small man like wants the fame. You know, they want the title. You know, yeah. and it's like the bigger man seeks to become worthy of that fame. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. or that title. Yeah. You know, so I, I feel like that too. Like with some of the coworkers I've had out here, like. You know, they're like, oh, but like, uh, blah, blah, blah. Like, we should recognize, like, you know, blah, blah, blah. And like, recognize people's work, like, be positive. And like, you know, people have been here longer, can learn from people who have just got here. You know, they have like fresh new ideas. I'm like, yeah. And like, that's cool. And like, we'll learn from you if you got something to teach us. But like, in the meantime, like, you should like shut up and listen. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like you're too busy trying to like force your ideas that you haven't learned the system. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of like making like uneducated, like decisions, you know? Right. Yeah. I don't know. That's just me complaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not because it's like I've like because it's like when I when I drive out here, just always see just like the way people drive is like, dude, what the fuck, you know? But they always like you could size a person up, kind of realize like they're just trying to stand out, you know? So it kind of mm-hmm. like annoyed me today. Like I saw this bus who's like dipping like probably like 70 on a red light it's like yo what the fuck dude you know <laughs> like a city bus yeah mm-hmm. and it's like why are you doing like why are you driving like this in the, like in the middle of ho chi Minh city oh yeah, man you know what i'm saying but it's like it's just yeah. one of those like it's childish to do something like that you know it's like you got this like weird chip on your shoulder you're trying to prove like you're like like you're in a bigger vehicle or something but it's like there's just something where it's like it's not necessary whatsoever so that's why to me it was like it's a very teenage, you know, attitude. So I mean that's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong, of course, but that's just my perspective. Yeah, I think it's it is just like that big image kind of culture, you know. Mm-hmm. Like people are way more concerned with appearances than like actual performance. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I just feel like it's a bad attitude to have, you know, because mm-hmm. like as long as you are like dependent on somebody else to like determine like your status, like your mood, like you'll never be happy. Oh, Oh, absolutely. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. But it also comes a little bit down to what you said earlier too. It's just like not thinking about tomorrow. You don't think about like short term, short sightedness. Right. Mm -hmm. And Vietnamese people are so, so short sighted about stuff. They Mm -hmm. make a business deal. They're going to like, try to like cash grab walk away it's like you know instead of make this long term decision about customer relationships or you know um, building quality products it's always just like what's the quickest solution so I could get my uh, get mines you know 
Yeah, like how can I get paid now? Exactly. <laughs> That's why they're 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 huge gamblers. They they play lotto tickets like crazy. You know, it's so it's like I had a, like a huge like <laughs> reflection. It's like, oh man, this is the society I'm in. Obviously, every society has its like positives and negatives, of course. You know, but. I guess I never saw it this way until like, I think I saw Japan from a different perspective. Of course, I know Japan's got its own core of issues, you know, but I just never looked at Vietnam that way until recently, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I'm thinking about Japan, though. Like, I feel like maybe if people are trying to stick out, maybe it's more like the foreigners, you know what I mean? Like, the expats that live here. Yeah. There, there are some, like, comparisons about that. People are like, oh, well, where do you work? you know mm-hmm. oh you study Japanese how many kanji do you know like you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. I study Japanese every day I know this many kanji you know yeah I mean but, but it's like then, most of the people yeah. who go to Japan to teach are still like college is right just fresh grads and whatnot so they still got that mentality right yeah a lot of people do you know mm-hmm. but, but I mean like that's it like that's the thing like Vietnam isn't the only country that has that teenage attitude. I mean, the, probably the world has a lot of that because they don't have any real role models. Like, Vietnam was like, you know, they went through the war. Probably all the male role models either died or left the damn country, you know? So you're yeah. surrounded by a bunch of women and the lack of, like, that, that masculine uh, vibe, you know? Yeah, well, and that that kind of happens, like, with a lot of cultures, you know, like, even thinking about uh, Japan, like, when they had its war, you mm-hmm. know, it's like, people were, like, suffering, you know, like, people yeah. were, they didn't have a lot of food or anything. Yeah. And then, like, after the war, like, that generation, like, remembered the war, you know, mm-hmm. like, they knew hard times. They're like, mm-hmm. yeah, we don't want to do that shit again, <laughs> like, you yeah, know, exactly. and then they, like, rebuilt the country. Mm-hmm. And then it's like they had their kids and like, you know, they they knew respect, you know, like they kind of like learn from their parents yeah, uh, stories and whatnot, you know, and like they weren't like as tough as nails, but they're like hardworking, you know. Yeah. And then here comes like the next generation and then they just grow up like completely like spoiled, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Then it's like they didn't really do any work to build the country. They just get to enjoy the fruits, you know. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. I can, I can see yeah. that. Yeah. So crazy, I don't man. know, man. Yeah, it's crazy when you when you kind of look at the long arc of history that way, you know. Correct, correct. Okay, so, speaking of yeah. history, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, can as you being like a history major or just like a history buff, right? Yeah. If human history was rewritten, could it affect the way you you could it could it change the way you lived? Oh, if history is rewritten, as in like okay, so for, for example, if if um, a new knowledge or like just like a new we discovered something different that really radically changed what was written about history in terms of like oh yeah. we weren't exactly fucking this we weren't exactly that right or yeah. for example like you know we didn't come from uh, we didn't just come from uh, what's the the cradle civilization again oh Mesopotamia yeah like that whole mm-hmm. area like what happened if it was something else yeah. right well, could it change yeah. your life could it change your life I mean, it could, man, but, I mean, that's the thing, like, when you first, like, kind of study about history is, like, you realize that history is, like, what people say it is. Correct. Exactly. And it's mostly how people remember it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, like, it depends how much, like, faith you put into it and, like, Okay, yeah, that's a a very solid answer. Depends how much faith you put into it, right? Yeah, like, how much sway you let it have over your life, you know? So, like... Because religion say, like, is definitely one thing, right? That yeah. can have a lot of say in your life. Yeah, you know, like like somebody could say that, like, you know, just for example, like, okay, the Spanish Inquisition, like, never happened. It's mm-hmm. like, so? It doesn't affect me at all. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I don't know, man. I, I think it, it really just kind of comes down to, like, how you define yourself as a person, yeah. you know? And like how important like certain stories from the past are in your daily life, you know. Correct. But I am very like logical, you know, mm-hmm. and I believe in like principles, but I don't put a lot of belief in a lot of other things, you know. Mm-hmm. Like some people feel very strongly about certain subjects. I'm just like, hey, you can't prove it or disprove it either way. So mm-hmm. yeah. enjoy life. Exactly. <laughs> you know I, mean? I think the human experience is like Trump at all. It's like so. Like who cares about that? Just like 
go through your journey. You know, it doesn't have to be completely affected by someone else's like story or history. You know, it's just like you should experience what you are and understand your like your feelings and emotions to kind of really know how to deal with other people, not just like. I read this book and it fucking says this and it says that, you know. And then it just changes the way you treat other people. Because mm, you're yeah. so warped in uh, an ideology. Yeah, but then I, th- I think like we were talking about image earlier too, right? And it kind of goes back to that, you know, or like uh, people want to be like insiders, you know. Yeah. They want to... Mm-hmm. Yeah, they want to be like, I, tri- I know. Swiss, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I know stuff that other people don't. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like, I I got the inside track, like I'm in the know. And that makes me better than other people who aren't in the know. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like with, yeah, any like group of people too, man, like some people just more gravitate towards that. Like they want to have their in group so they can feel special about themselves. Mm -hmm. But then part of having an in group is you have to have an out group. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know, man. I feel like as people get older, hopefully they should like get over that kind of thinking, but a lot of people don't, you know. Yeah, a lot of people don't. That's something I kind of realized too. That's why like, when I was like, just like I told you, I was looking at people driving around. And I was like, dude, why are you that old? You still have that thinking. It's like, shit, dude. It's not just Vietnam. There's probably a lot of the world that doesn't outgrow some tendencies, you know. Yeah, I guess just depending on the country you're in, people do it in different ways, you know. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Like you remember back in the day when we were in high school and like Fast and the Furious was like a big deal. Mm-hmm. Everybody had those noise making, yeah, <laughs> like the uh, yeah, like the exhaust that doesn't Custom, like enhance yeah. performance at all. It's just a sound maker, yeah, 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 or like the neon like underglow kits and stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't know, dude. It's nice. I guess the way of the world, you know. Yeah, was a good philosophy talk, though, man. <laughs> indeed, indeed, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh man, we got over twenty. You want to keep it going, dude? Or? It's up to you, bro. I can keep going. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting hot in this bitch, dude. <laughs> I need to figure something out, man. <laughs> you know, because it's like when I record the uh, the podcast, man. Like if I have the fan on, it makes a little bit of noise. Yeah. But yeah, man. Just I know it's like hotter in my apartment than it is outside. You yeah. Know what I mean. Yeah. I'm on like the second floor in like a tiny box. All the hot air goes to the top. That's right. How hot is it yeah. now? Uh, you know, it's hotter out here than it is in Long Beach, man. Oh, where? So like, like you're in the 80s or something? 90s? Uh, maybe like high 70s right now. Okay. Like lower 80s maybe. Yeah. But then it's like raining today too. It's getting a little bit of that humidity. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The hot and rainy, dude, that's, that's a rough one, dude. Because yeah. it's like sticky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, when we first started, it wasn't bad, you know? Mm-hmm. Now I've got yeah. a healthy glow going, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let me describe to you in detail the <laughs> amount of sweat I have on my body. <laughs> <laughs> There's a visual for you. you know? yeah. But that's the great part about podcasting, right? Is if people can't see how sweaty you are when you do it. Yeah, they have no idea what you're wearing no. or what you're doing. <laughs> you can be butt naked, yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just chilling here half naked with my shirt on, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay. nah, nah. Yeah, man, it's good times, honey. Yeah, man. Shit, so you'll be back. Actually, I don't know. Shall we? What do you think? Just keep going? And you have the topics yeah. that's worth it? You know, I, I think for the sake of my body, <laughs> Fuck my body. <laughs> might be a good place to leave it, man. You know, so I, I, I don't uh, lose all my water weight. You know, I like to keep some. <laughs> yeah, no. But yeah, man, that'll that'll do it for another fresh, fresh episode of Dudes in Asia. And yeah, it's always a good talk having the unscripted chats, you know. I think the big takeaway today is just, you know, be your own man, be your own woman. Like, once you stop comparing yourself to other people, you can really start focusing on the things that matter in your life, you know. Jesus Christ, that was well said. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, just the way the world is, it's like, it's let all that information go. It's just focus on you. You know, there's so much you can do for yourself, you know, but yeah. we're living in the age of distraction, man. And it's hard not to get caught up because it's kind of like you need to have like, you need to have some like, stand.
dance to a certain degree, even though you sh don't need to, but this world is almost like it's just like black and white, red and blue, right? Yeah. Well, somebody told me, like, hey, Sosa said this about you. Like, aren't you going to do something? Don't you care about that? I'm like, you know, I'm too busy worrying about what I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know. yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So this is Hollywood Noogie signing out. Be sure to check out our blog at deucenasia.blogspot.com or hit us up on Facebook at facebook.com slash dudesinasia. Yeah, and if you want to follow us on Twitter, search for at David Hader. That's at D-A-V-I-D-H-A-R. Peace out. Peace out, yeah.